the perfect assassin will need to learn the way of the hotel cleaning maid. I've perfected my technique for so long. I've been working in a, in a dirty motel of Oklahoma for 35 years in order to master this technique. Watch this. Perfectly clean. Better run away from me, probably they know I have no more ammo except the poisonous gas, eerily called French cheese. They call me Nebula, Clown Nebula, and I'm here to train you to become the perfect assassin, or to be perfectly assassinated, like this guy over here. Our objective is to kill every single enemy in the facility except this guy. And then we will have some gadget to help us. This time around, I will honor my ancient tradition of my ancestors in the glorious Japanese way of the samurai sword in order to kill them. Now it's time to charge! Kill them all! Ha! Kill them all! Ow! That's probably the reason why they committed seppuku, I suppose. In order to be the perfect assassin, you need to have a wide variety of weapons and gadgets in your inventory, like the slow ass saw blades that everyone can dodge or they can aim as well. And so everybody will get attention. Like this guy is not entirely sure if the his companion is dead or not. Maybe he doesn't care at all. Let's try it with this guy. Ha! Not even a single line of worries has come to the head of this poor guy. Better leave him with his thoughts forever. Then, the perfect assassin will have to have in his inventory the typical sleepy darts, made of sock sweat and green broccoli sauce. That's why the name of the game comes from. We'll have to use them in order to make his enemies Paralyze and not to alert all the others and then make a quick run for the exit Probably the, the broccoli and the sweat are in the perfect way in order to kill your enemies But your sword is uh, which I forgot at home then the perfect assassin will have to learn the ways of the fairest maids in the dirtiest motel of Oklahoma how to clean up the mess I've been spending 35 years in order to master this technique. This will allow me to clean up the evidence after a murder, stain by stain. Probably after two hours I will be finished cleaning up this victim, so I can assassinate my target in only 15 years then. I'll see you when I'm done. Done. Then I'll show you how to use the trap of the spike under the toe of the foot of your enemies. If you lure a guard in here, they will go into the trap and have a slightly wounded toe, foot toe, so they won't be able to properly run or die because they trip over. This is the deadliest weapon of an assassin, because we know that an enemy with an injured toe is no threat at all, like these guys. Then of course the perfect assassin will have a nice... Uh, excuse me, I'm talking. As I was saying, the perfect assassin will have always a uh, fart uh, smelly poisonous uh, bomb in here, in his pocket, in order to kill silently and in a very painful way all his enemies. Like these guys over here. Hey! You want to smell this? You want a spike in your toe? Huh, they are terribly afraid of the spike in the toe. At some point, the enemy will run easily onto your face so you can kill them with ease. This is a problem called the lemming syndrome. At some point, the guards are tired of patrolling this area over and over again with no colors. Eventually, will have commit suicide by going after you and then 
trying to kill you. Right at your face. Then again, making it easier for you to shoot them, actually. Like this guy over here. And this guy over here. Alright, there we go. Never bring a sword to a gunfight and these guys learned it in the hard way. Now I will drag the bodies one by one in my sex dungeon. I mean, in a dumpster so I can cover them and hide the bodies. In my sex dungeon. Another important lesson that the perfect assassin needs to learn is how to use technology in his hands. Like this drone will help me find the remaining guards and maybe try not to be killed as well. I can watch myself die. I mainly use the drone to spot the patrols in the lockers room. This time around maybe there will be also female guards, that would be even better. Then another useful item I can show you is the tennis ball attached to a chain that I can use in order to climb walls. As you can see here, if it's not so nervous, if your chain is nervous, you need to calm down soothly by gently rubbing it. Because they probably is in they know they're in danger. So they must feel protected. At some point, uh, this will be the easiest way to escape uh, if you manage to actually kill your target. Or maybe try to be not be spotted actually. Uh, are you calm now? Great! I can sneak my way past him and crawling on my knees. It really hurts, but it's the best way in order to not be seen. See that? Couldn't see me at all! Now, poison! Have some more smelly farts! I just eat burritos and tacos for a month in order to make this. So you better suit yourself for the treatment. In order to use perfectly your poisonous grenades, you will need to have a gas mask. Either that or you can use it to bribe the guards if they have a choking fetish and you can obtain favors and infos from them. Aha! Uh -huh. With the X-ray vision, I can clearly see my enemies, but not the underwear, so this item is completely useless. You better throw it away and not carry it in your pocket. Then I will show you how to use the grappling hook. With this item, you can manage to get an enemy and get it over here. Like that famous game. Over here! Okay, it's coming by its own will. I guess the grappling hook is totally worthless then. The guys always have no clue of what's going on in the area. Probably they don't pay him enough, or maybe they're the dumbest persons in the entire world. If you manage to learn the patrol ways of the guards, you'll be able to place some more traps, like the how it's called the flashy bangy thing uh, when they come all over there they will be paralyzed because of science uh, and because they didn't step on it yet uh, you god damn it why don't you step on it it's uh, just right there two inches away from you come on come on i know you can do it come on do a barrel roll come on there's a, li a little bit there come on it's easy you know maybe i can throw it at your face like this no? Damn it! Damn you! But now it's completely surrounded. Can possibly avoid my traps. Come on. Come on. 15 hours later. Come on! 30 hours later. No, it's stuck. Oh, now it's activated. Oh, and he's dead! Ha <laughs> ha! My plan perfectly worked! By any means necessary. Uh -huh, I can activate by the distance. Uh -huh, I need to check my manual again, probably. And then, as a proper ninja master of the shadows, I can use my perfectly sharp and deadly knife's kitchen that are the, the shape of a shuriken. And they miss uh, many times. They miss so many times, I can't use them actually. I learned this in the best chef, uh, sushi chef of the country. 
and then I eventually committed seppuku as always. Now it's time to try some disguises. Let's see how it will work. Oh, hello, gentlemen. I'm a typical Frenchman. I haven't even had a mustache on. I brought you some fine cheese from France. Ho ho ho! Enjoy it. Ho 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 ho! Pepe La Pugue sends you this. This salute. I can sneak by with this perfectly nice French knife for baguettes. Ha ha! I can also go faster than back to my knees. Ha ha! Now they can spot me. Now I can use uh, the flashy thingy in order to immobilize them and do a little dance. Maybe they can learn how to twerk them. So I can use these in order to kill them all by the fast way. And nobody will notice. Ha ha! You silly arm French bastards. Ha ha! I need to escape my way out of here. Ha ha! Wait, Monsieur, I've learned directly from Monsieur D'Artagnan. You can never possibly beat me in a fight with a knife for baguettes. Ha <laughs> ha! Now they are looking for me. I better hide and search for another disguise. Hello there, fellas! You want to try my new rifle? I just bought from the gun store because I'm an American and I like guns. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> I have strangely a similar accent to my French partner. Probably I'm from Louisiana, pal. A perfect redneck. Hee <laughs> hee! Come to my road, you guys. Yee-ha! Seriously, dude, you're trying to attack an American with a sword. <laughs> I fart in your general direction. And now I can switch with this clever joke. To the Englishman. <laughs> they are all similar, but they are very different in their own ways. Oh, guys, I brought some tea for ya. Let me just launch the tea bags at ya. Haha, <laughs> long live the queen, sip the tea with your pinky raised and lovely, lovely blap in the name of the majesty. Her Highness Queen Elizabeth II, I take possess of this land, and I call it uh, Uspania. Ha ha! And that's uh, the story of the first settlers in the United States of Donald Trump. Oh, Abelli, come va? How are you doing? Everything's fine at home. Yeah, I brought some. You know, chop sticks um, in order to eat carbonara. Ha ha, I missed, uh, god damn it. Mamma mia. Let me show you my skills with the Italian ravioli fights. Uh -huh. Yeah, and the Italian guy is dead. And now that I've shown you all the ways in order to be the perfect assassin, it's time to ultimate our contract. It's time to kill all of these people. For no reason at all, but they deserve it somehow. Alright, very sneaky. Very, very sneaky. Under the garage doors. The only things are colored in here. Hmm. This would be a hard fight. Luckily, I have uh, my sleepy darts. Effective, silent and deadly. Oh no, a guard is coming here. They spotted me. Damn it. I used to be a very stealthy assassin like you, but then I took a bullet in the neck. Yeah, like this guy over here. Haha. -ha. I killed a guy. That guy still has no clue on what's going on. Everybody here is dead. There's blood splattered all over the place. Nobody cares at all. Uh, there's a guy over here, probably I've hit his blind spot, or maybe not. Now I hit his blind spot. Aha, uh -huh. now they're attacking me in a group. Luckily I can use my sword skills. I learned. And then I wait for them to come by me. With a ferocious charge. And I can dodge bullets too. Like cutting them in mid -air. Haha! Alright. 
Very, very good. Come over here, boy. Ah, you surprised me. Good job. Not so bad, after all. But you're no match for me. Like this guy over here. I can use... Let's see. The poison, no. The dart. Uh-huh. There we go. Sleep nice like a baby, tucked in his bed, full of blood. And now it's time to use uh, real weapons. Damn you. Alright, there we go. Uh, my maiden skills are calling me. I feel the urge to clean this wall, but I must resist. I know it's my best pleasure in life to clean blood from the walls. I need to be concentrated in order to do this. There should be some more guards here around somewhere. Hiding. Maybe someone is going to the toilet. They better run away from me. Probably they know I have no more... ammo except the poisonous gas. Italy called the French cheese. Then I use my parkour and uh, climbing skills in order to get over there. Get over there! There we go. Please don't, don't, don't freak out as always. Chain, come on. It used to work so well together. Uh huh. I, I, uh -huh. And that's how the building go. <laughs> Luckily, apparently, French cheese is so powerful that it can go even through walls. Lucky me. Ooh, I better find another weapon. There we go. Uh huh. Another stupid guy that wants to be killed. Are there any more guys in here? There we go. Taken care of. Nice and easy. Uh huh. There's a guy over here. We didn't even notice that I shot him a bunch of times. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. To grab another weapon. Tada! Surprise! Surprise, motherfucker! Chain, attack them! Good job, Chain! Always by my side. Are there any more left? Hmm. I should open an exhibition in here. Like a. I don't know, a bloody museum for assassins. I can become. I can finally answer the call of my life being a murderous artist. The best kind of one. Now I can drink up synth and look cool to the ladies. Okay. How many more are in this place? I can use uh, my goggles uh, in order to spot them. There are a bunch of them still. No match for me though. I can snipe them by the distance. Like that guy over here, but the bullets are so slow. They won't even reach the target in time. Okay, they're coming this way. I better run away. Any more? No. It's only three of them left. It would be a pity if I actually died in this moment. Still, the life of an assassin can be very unpredictable. Luckily, I have my homing fucking super ooper duper chainsaw thingies. Another cruel way to end this war is to gas toxic wastes. Only one guy. No, I won. I fulfilled my contract. And most importantly, I succeeded in training you in how to be the perfect assassin. I thank you very much for watching. And we will see each other again in the next training assassination parkour french cheese montage and remember if you can't sleep the clowns are gonna fart on the Ew. disgusting good night